points. Three, two, one, go! All right, Five. coming in at two, game one. Helper already trying to establish some stage presence with the uh, projectiles. Counter did like 23? Why not? Fighter pass too. You paid 5.99. You better be getting 23 percent from the counter. Right? <laughs> Good night. Yo, no amount of money is gonna <laughs> save you from that. Oh no. boy. These guys are supposed to be friends. <laughs> There's no friendship here. Sora does not get the power of friendship from this particular <laughs> matchup. <laughs> Goofy and Donald are not here to help you. Like this. John going for a cheeky little soccer ball setup. Yeah, I'm sorry, John is just like channeling his inner Ansem, just being like, <laughs> right. your friends, <laughs> they've abandoned you. And by friends, I mean me. Oh. Embrace the shadows <laughs> or <it's> something. <laughs> Listen, we've been trainer. I know she's telling you to salute the sun, but she is all about the darkness. <laughs> There's some metaphor in there about closer you get to the sun, the brighter, or the more the shadow grows, something I don't know. Uh. It's it's all a metaphor. You get, when you get too ripped. Um, Okay, but this is something where, like, numbers, he knows what it's like to be on the ledge and have options. So he doesn't really get caught by those stunt doggers or those positions that you mentioned. Yeah, no, I feel like kind of where the, the player matchup comes in, John is just such a more patient player. Like, he is not, he's unflinching and is very good at picking his openings, like we saw right there. Why are you just running at because yeah. he's just that confident that he's not going to be hitting you in a single butt. That is probably how I would describe John's play a lot of the time, is confidence. Conf it, it's also like confidence with this extra little caveat that's like, confident the opponent won't know that he's about to do a super thing. Mm -hmm. Backdoor sitting to help her off stage again and deep breathing into the down air. The trading. It feels like that consistently trading. Mm -hmm. It's like Sora. That's terrifying. On the other hand, Sora has a lot of recovery options. He has a double jump that feels like you, you went into he like went into special <laughs> smash. <laughs> the low like, grab yeah. smash. <laughs> feels like he did that for like a split second. So his double jump has massive amounts of height. He also has the side B to help him recover. Mm -hmm. uh, so now that he knows that we Fit's feet are a are a real threat and a half, I think that Hopper's gonna need to mix up his recoveries. Yeah, especially not yeah. like that. He was trying to be aggressive, and that means he used one of his resources. Mm -hmm. And let's just saw through that. Right, Helper is gonna be sticking with the Sora. No uh, no DDDs tonight, it would seem. At least he could have a game three. three two, he wins and then space is a DDD. Go. All right, getting a nice uh, side B to start things out and using that really long-lasting dash attack to keep the pressure on John at the ledge. You use your resource a little bit too fast and great by John to go past the ledge and poke with the... He should be fine. Okay, oh, now you're definitely fine. I don't actually know if Helper was coming back with those side Bs. I think he was. Oh, we're teching. We know that downer. How many times is that downer? Like, this is one of the things that I really like about numbers. He figures out matchups. He's just like, how can I cheese this one particular matchup as much as possible? And he's like, oh, you're saying downer like just absolutely beats out Sora's dinky little recovery? Don't mind if I do. Ooh, what movement coming out from John with the uh, the soccer ball to avoid Elbert's dash attack? All right, side B gonna be putting John off stage again. We're gonna see Elbert got a really nice uh, sequence at the beginning, but did Hula Hoops just beat out the sword swing? I think so. Yeah. Down smash not gonna be doing Elbert any favors. Putting basically resetting the situation. Uh, right. use, yeah, use the air dodge. So, kind of unfortunate for John. Helper able to get that first stock, but it was, uh, that's even more unfortunate. 
Did numbers down smash change things there? I don't think so. I think Helper's side B still would have gone at the same angle. I think Helper was maybe expecting to grab the ledge after the second hit of side B. Yeah, but just went a little too far. John's movement right now on the center platform is spicy. Okay, I also like that, that within the up B, it seems like he can still drift and angle it. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh I don't that's know if you're it. From that. Yeah, helper shrugging. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you're making it back. <laughs> he, was, Yo. he was shrugging because, like, yeah, I know I'm making it back. Wow. Oh my god, what a, what a kooky little man. <laughs> Softball poking in through the thunder. Yo, he just stops the lightning storm. <laughs> It's caught shielding at ledge again. What are you all doing down there? I think John is jumpless, which means this could potentially be a stock in Helper's favor, but Woo! John is so good at that drift. John knows when you're going to be poking at the ledge. He always drifts outward. Wow, that was... Man, numbers, you know, he had a real ace up his sleeve, and then he took that same ace up Mm -hmm. Seven more times. His <laughs> sleeves was nothing but the same ace over and over again, and that was the downer off stage. <laughs> that time killed off the side because it has like what seven active frames, like just way too many. And I guess the range is just enough that it will trade with the upbeat. Yeah, I, I don't know what happened there on that uh, second stock for helper. Just. I mean, uh, how much lag does the side B have? Does it have lag to the point where, like, it's just uh, dead at that point? I mean, it puts you into special fall, so. Yep, just went a little bit too far. Ah, uh, now this is jamming music. Yeah. Sonic Advance Car Casino Night? So no, it's not Casino Night. That's Sonic 2. I don't remember the exact zone. Sonic Advance does have bop music. The Sonic franchise, for something that's gone so downhill, the music goes uphill. It's like inverse. Hey, I've got I've got hope.